So right off rip, hold on, why am I seeing cheeks? Why am I seeing cheeks? What type of mother? Oh no! No! Mother and 12 year old daughter arrested for confronting bully with guns on a bus. What? Yo, where are y'all finding these videos? I need to know. I need to know. I seen a little clip of this and I just couldn't believe it. I really just could not believe this, bro. These parents is getting, like, this was t terrible, terrible parenting. I don't know what I would do if my child was on that bus and this lady brought her daughter with a strap to the bus trying to confront some bullying. Are you serious? I understand bullying is not acceptable. Bullying at all, I don't accept no type of bullying. If you have to bully someone else, you're really not, you're weaker than that person because you feel like you need to bully them to feel like you're stronger. But in reality, you're actually weaker than that other person. We're gonna tune into this video right now. Before we get to this video, man, go down below, drop a like on this video. RJ Squad, say it with me. I'll wait, man. We be cooking, man. Go ahead and comment that down below. We got parents, parents out there. You feel me? If y'all watching this video, you feel me? We don't need no more of this, okay? There's other ways if your child is getting bullied, there's other ways that we can go about this. And if your child's getting bullied, either one, you are doing something wrong, teaching that child wrong, and they take it to school to get them bullied, too. They just getting bullied because that's just how the world is. That's just how the world is. I 100% do not agree with bullying at any point. It's just like judging somebody. How, how can you judge somebody? If you judge somebody based off of what they think or what they do, you're basically saying what, that what they do is wrong but how do you know it's wrong though feel what i'm saying think about that think about that every every reaction i'm gonna have some type of quote some type of thing to get you thinking before you leave this video so it's not just y'all coming just to watch the video i actually want to give some knowledge Learn. teach y'all what i know you feel me so we're gonna get to this video once again terrible parenting mother and 12 year old daughter arrested for confronting bully with a gun on bus are you serious so right off rip hold on why am i seeing cheeks why am i seeing cheeks what type of mother she got two different types of socks on? Come on, man. Come on, what you doing? What you doing? You making us black folk look bad. What are you doing, bro? That's that, that shit. Let's see what's going on. Oh, no! No! Whoa, whoa, you hear the screaming? Like, this is real screams, real tear, real horror. Oh, my, she, yup. What is she doing outside with the cheeks, though? Wait, 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 wait. He ain't gonna shoot nobody, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's run that back. Oh, no! No! Oh, my God. She's really actually taking her, 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 her youth, her seed on the bus with a strap. Bro, don't even know what's going on. Is that, wait, 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 wait. That's a female? She said, how you gonna tell a little kid? How you gonna tell a little kid, calm down, baby. He ain't, he ain't gonna shoot nobody. What? I don't care who you are. If I see somebody, you feel me, with their child, with a strap, coming around to the bus, I'm terrified as a kid. Are you kidding me, bro? This she tweaking. And the kid started running? Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta turn this up a little bit more, bro. She's screaming so much, I can't really hear. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Oh my God, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is actually bad, bro. Everybody on the bus is crying. This person right here laughing. I don't probably be in the instigator. What is going on, bro? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So the little, the little kid, the little jit that you seen outside, the little dude, that that's not. That's her, like her brother. You feel me? This is the actual girl right here that's getting bullied, bro. She banging on the window, and the mother came outside with a strap and gave her the toddler the strap, bro. Are you serious? Oh, this is bad. This is bad, bro. This is bad. 
Very, very bad. <laughs> oh! Hold on! She was hitting on the- She was hitting on the- On the other bus with the- With the strap? Look! Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. The fact that the mother let this, like, like, let this be okay. She's the one that brought it outside, actually. Of course, she thought it was more than okay. We go, oh, they bullying you? We go handle it. What? And then she go get the little boy to... Oh my gosh, bro. We gotta move it like this now, chat, so you can see the whole thing. ...pulled out a gun after a fight on a school bus. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. The moments were captured on video, and tonight police say a 12-year-old and her mother... 12-year-old. 12, not even a teenager yet, a 12-year-old. We're talking about middle school still. Middle school, bro. Are you kidding me, man? arrested. Eleanor Tabone has the story. Oh, here's the full fight. Nah, nah, nah. It started as a fight between two girls on the school bus after school on Friday. Then things got heated. But see, this is what I hate about the news and stuff like that. It's crazy because, like, the news always says, oh, stop the violence. But that's young boy. But, like, you know, they, they try to get people to stop the violence and stuff like that. But then they show this. This is on the news. They show, like, just because you blur someone's face out don't mean you still ain't going to see what's really going on. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't really understand that. You feel me? I feel like it's just everything set up to make, to make everybody look bad, bro. They're not with us, they're against at us, bro. At some point, one of the girls gets off the bus at a bus stop. Returning, pounding on the bus door to get inside. Walking away with what appears to be a gun in her hand. Oh my gosh. After the driver refused to open the door for her. I just can't picture myself sitting there with a Oh gun my gosh. Like at a, everything that you could possibly show on a news channel, on a news station. You still go show these little these little kids fighting, bro. That's actually insane, bro. That's it's, it's insane, bro. Get, get the mother or something. You feel me? Don't get the little kids. Like I understand, like the youth is our, you know, the generation, the the generation. You feel me? It's a, but it's like you don't need to get them on there like this. Like if anything, they like this stuff. You know, as a kid, you know, you see somebody get into a fight. Come on now, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Crescent City Schools, the charter school operator that runs Achille, released a written statement saying Crescent City Schools and Achille Academy are horrified by this brazen act of violence that happened off school campus. The student is not at school and we are working with NOLA Public Schools regarding disciplinary action. Eyewitness News spoke with a mother of what? two students who ride the same bus. When your children ride their bus, the shooter would have put him wrong through your head. What is Wait, wait, so this is the mother in the back talking, I think. Talking about shoulda, coulda, woulda, what? You would have shot those children? Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Police arrested the 12-year-old that same day and charged her with aggravated assault with a firearm. Damn! A 12-year-old charged with aggravated assault with a firearm. What? My, my, my uncle, uncle, one of my uncles got one of those, you know what I'm saying? That's how you know it's serious, okay? You feel me? Louisiana, where I'm from, it's a whole different story down there. I'm not gonna lie, them boys is different. I had to get out of there, but oh my. The child's mother was also arrested and charged with principal to aggravated assault and for contributing to the delinquency of the juvenile. Police have Sheesh. not exactly said what led to that charge. The name have not been released given the age of the girl involved. Oh, given given the oh the age, but you can hit her with a you can hit her with a case. You feel me? That's crazy. That's going to be on her record for life. Do you realize that? It's going to be so hard for her to even do anything in life, bro. At the end of the day, I'm a woman of God, but I do not respect how my child is being held accountable for something that she was... Did you just say you, you a child of God? Child of God? Hold on. She didn't. She didn't got me a little... She done got me a little mad. She, she done got me a little mad, bro. What you be high? You a child of God, right? But you got your child out there. Try to try to put some fear in some other kids by bringing a strap. You not only messed up your life, you also messed up your daughter's life. She ain't going back to that school. <laughs> she might have to be homeschooled for the rest of her life now. Let's see what else she got to talk about, though. 
Let's see what else you got to talk about, though, man. This is crazy, bro. Being bullied about. Bullied? She was being bullied, so that's why she pulled out a fire. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. A child being bullied, you feel me? That's the last thing you want. Anything to happen to your child. I get that. But for you, that's why she put out a firearm. So she had a firearm all day at the school? It was in her possession, though it was not supposed to be in her possession. It was in her possession, and she pulled it. I don't care how y'all take it, how ignorant y'all say I'm being or whatever, but when a child is under frustration and being bullied, she's supposed to help, have help and with self-defense. or Self-defense? See, yeah, there's videos like this that get other people to think the same way. Like, yeah, you are right, though. My, my, my child shouldn't be getting it. I'm going to give him a strap the next time. What? She said she had it, but she shouldn't have pulled it. So what was the point of, like, her having it in the first place? Like, am I? I'm shocked. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm actually shocked right now. Like, uh, legit, I'm shocked, bro. Whatever. Y'all too ignorant in New Orleans. I said that. <sighs> New Orleans, got it. I got it. It all makes sense. And of course, the news is going to push that out because they want New Orleans to keep looking bad. It makes sense. It's all part of the agenda, bro. And stuff like this, bro, I just I just be like, don't you see what the world is making us do, bro? Now you got everyone against her, obviously. I mean, I ain't gonna, I'm pretty against her, too, for the fact of having her child pull up with a strap is crazy. Like, Achille Academy is very messy. Y'all children is messy. You need to put your children in a place because they play people too much. Nobody don't have time for to be playing with no fucking children all day. Sheesh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, bro. I honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all, bro. I really don't know what to what to take from this, bro. Besides, I'm not having no kids. Go to, the, you know, none of my, none of my, you know, none of my seeds. You feel me? We gonna be straight. We gonna be good. We hey, they ain't gonna have no bullying or any of that. Now I do get where you coming from. I do get where she's coming from. You know your seed, your kids getting bullied, but there's other ways to go around it. You feel me? Now we don't know the full story. Maybe this has been going on for for months, for weeks, and they've been trying to talk to the school system, but pulling out the strap though, putting everybody in fear like that, it ain't gonna help another situation because now your child is not going back to that school. That's 100%. She's not going back to that school. She might not even be able to go back to a regular school ever again. She got hit with a, what, a, what was it? Assault case? Aggravated assault? <laughs> GG's. GG's, bro. And she's only 12? Oh, nah. They put her in one of those schools where there's like four people in each classroom. That's about it, bro. I want y'all to let me know what y'all think about this. Was the mother in the right? Or was she in the wrong? Be 100% honest, you know what I'm saying? All opinions matter. I do want to hear them. I do want to see them. I do want to reply back to them. So if you guys could leave a comment down below, let me know, bro. Because this is this is crazy. This is crazy, bro. Hey, saucy, flossy. I can't get none of them off me. You want to know how to off me? Your bitch over here, she off me. Drip, 